Hey, uh, everyone. And welcome to uh, another tutorial. This one I'm really, really excited about because it's the Autodesk Sketchbook. Um, and it's not really a tutorial. It's just I want to show you some features of um, this unique software. It's really, really awesome. Um, it's I got the pro version. Uh, I got it subscription based. You can get the free version to mess around with it. Um, totally cool. I got the pro subscription because it was really minimal as far as pricing goes. It was like uh, you, you could look at it online. Um, go to the autodesk.com or, or something like that. Just look up Autodesk Sketchbook, and you'll go right to their site, and they have the pro subscription uh, price right there. And um, it's awesome. This this program is um, for artists. It's made for artists. You could do a lot with this. You can animate, right? Uh, you can go through file and new flipbook, and that's where you could um, animate sequences, which is really cool. And it's hand drawn sequences too. Okay, so um, what I want to go over, what I want to show you right now, is um, something that is just completely awesome to me. I love this stuff. Um, it makes working and and just with art so much easier drawing so much easier right so the first one to go over um i want to show you is so here you have your brush library which is really really neat um you can you can get um you could download so many different packs um and i just downloaded the manga basics uh, i really like this brush kit and it's all free that's the other thing it's so it's all free and it's all awesome and um, you can make your own and um, put it in your library of brush uh, kits. So I'm just going to use the red drafting pencil. Um, and there's a blue and a red. And the, the reason for that is so you could see what you have traced and what you haven't traced when you draw it out. So um, this is this program i'm telling you it's built for artists it's built it's specifically made for people like me honestly um i used photoshop for a long time but this is so much faster um to do stuff in and it's uh it's not vector based but it kind of feels like it almost um there's things you could do that are almost vectory um but but it's got like a blend so anyways the first thing i wanted to show you is, is the ruler so the ruler i was like oh i don't i don't need to measure anything right but that's not what it's for right it's actually for your straight edging and i thought well how can i you know i, I can't really hold my pencil that's still on a screen because i'm drawing on a board right now i'm drawing on a not a i'm sorry not a tablet but like a um a screen tablet so i have a pen and and screen so i'm drawing directly on the screen but you could adjust your points right like a ruler how it works you know you 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 align your first point hold your finger here and then you align your second point just the same right so I'm just going to draw, start out like with this line here. And if you look down below, you could see the angle, right? And your position. And that's really, really helpful um, for, especially for your angle, if you want to get a 90 degree, an exact 90, right? Or an exact zero. You can do that, right? And it'll, it'll have that. So like if you want a horizon line, this is what it's for. So the middle one moves your line, moves your ruler around. Here is the amazing, awesome part, right? And it's just the best discovery in the world for me. Um, I don't actually have to be on the ruler to draw the line, right? It draws right on the ruler for me. So I, I'm not in the way, I, you know, so I could draw somewhere out of the way. You could also erase on that line right and this is kind of where the blended um the blended uh kind of vector stuff comes in and now you see how it changes with I'm, I'm just pushing harder you know on there so uh you can move it down and draw another line and you're like well you know can i erase that line now and no you no, you can't but it's so smart you you move it right back up there and um now you can right just right there and that's I think that's phenomenal right so the ruler itself is really really handy um, then you have your um, your this is the ellipse tool and um, you adjust your ellipse however you want it right the size and then just just draw it you know however you want and you don't have to be right on you know 
And so like, oh, maybe I just want this curve right here. You know, just that curve. Cool, you're done. That's it. If you want to go back and erase it, you don't have to do anything special. Just erase it. It's really great. You have your French curves, right? Right there. So this, this is, uh, you got a, a whole lot of different selections on your French curves, what you can do, right? And these are, th this is all meant to, oh, here, um, there's different styles. And, and um, I think these French, I think it has every single curve possible. I'm not sure. Let me, let me see. But you can, you could adjust size. Um, you could adjust, you could flip it. You could um, choose each different kind of curve. It's awesome. This is an amazing tool. And then finally, the perspective tool. This tool, I am just blown away at, right? This is amazing. You select your perspective tool, your guide. You have one point, two point, and three point perspective, right? So, um, and then fisheye, which is crazy, right? So I'm not going to get into fisheye yet because I want to show you what exactly these tools do. So you see that um, that little crosshair going on? So in one point perspective, as you know, your horizontals and your vertical stay exactly horizontal and vertical. So um, you could select where you want to put this, and then this is your... If you know this is your vanishing point right and everything converges here so I'm gonna draw a box and it kind of oh whoops I'm gonna erase it re recognizes that you're drawing up and down right you don't have to be right on that point it recognizes that okay uh, recognizes that I'm drawing left to right right up and down and I'm just gonna make this box here okay uh, hey I need to erase this part not a problem okay right on the money um, um, you could do this even later after you're done okay and then and then you could draw your diagonals which uh, look at that it uh, recognizes the diagonal right and if you notice wherever you move your cursor that diagonal adjusts for you it does auto calculation right so this is perfect one point perspective everything is in one point perspective perfectly right which is super cool man i'm i'm way stoked um so that's your one point two point is the same you would uh adjust wherever you want these lines on your horizon line which and it's great because you don't actually have to keep it horizontal right um you could set it way off the canvas and look at that so if you remember two point it's your vertical stay exactly vertical and everything else your horizontals and everything else verticals change so everything converges on these two vanishing points right so you have your exact uh, vertical and then let's say this is a building and then that's one side of the building you could have it cut off there the other oops the other side sometimes it'll glitch out like that but that's not a problem it really isn't because you could go back and erase it anytime right here's your building right away right that's awesome it's way cool um so anything above the hor horizon line is you looking up at a building and then anything below the horizon line is you um is uh giving you a f uh, eagle eye a view i guess how do i <laughs> i guess that's how you put it right uh, bird's eye view right. so like buildings that are uh, like that right so there it is so you're looking on a roof let's say and then you're looking up where my view bird eye view so that's pretty really cool I think uh, I'm just gonna clear if I can here or I'm just gonna do a new one really quick okay so then you have your three-point perspective, which is even cooler. Um, again, you don't have to stick with any of the rules, but uh, I prefer to have all my all of my uh, points off canvas. But every single line adjusts, right? See that every single line adjusts, and uh, wherever uh, you want to draw, it will automatically kind of predict. 
what you want to draw and draw it for you, right? So, all right, cool. Uh, what do I want to do with this? <laughs> I don't know, make, make a three-dimensional triangle, I guess. Cool. Let's make it a cube, shall we? It's an awesome song, by the way, that's playing right now. I don't know if you guys could hear it. All right, so here's my cube. I take the, uh, I take this off. I go back and erase all the unnecessary parts. There it is. There's my cube in perfect three-point perspective, which is awesome. Fish eye. It adjusts your lines as you go out. So um, let me let me do a new. Okay, so let's go to this again. Fish eye perspective, and so let's draw. Um, let's draw something. Oops, erasing again. Right, so here's my building, right? Right, cool. Um, so fisheye can you could do a lot with fisheye, of course. Um, your horizon line, your buildings. This is it just makes it so quick and easy, man. I, it's, I'm just so in disbelief, so much in disbelief, how easy this makes it. Right here's, let's say these are windows to your building, right? That you have a fisheye view on, and I'm just kind of guesstimating where um, all this is, and maybe there's a tool I haven't discovered yet that <laughs> gives you a good grid for all this stuff. But it just you could do so much so quickly. Um, you know, like that. Um, so these are a really awesome tool. Symmetry is neat, but I'll go over that maybe in another video. But I just wanted to go over these um, these four tools with you. Um, the most I'm excited about is the perspective tool. Amazing tool. Um, this program itself is made for artists. It is out of this out of this world, man. I love it. Um, so much there. You could do so much, and I've only showed. A, a tiny bit a fraction of what you can do here so um, I recommend anyone with a, a tablet um, you can get it for your tablet if you have a, um, a Windows tablet you can uh, get it uh, for your regular PC and use it on a Wacom tablet with a Wacom tablet if you have a screen like I do um, this is where it really uh, stands out is uh, when you have a screen to draw on um, alright so that's that's some of the stuff. So um, if you if you ever get a chance, take a look at it. It's amazing. I love it. I recommend it 100%.